The IBM SAN Volume Controller is a block storage virtualization appliance that belongs to the IBM Systems Storage product family. SVC implements an indirection, or virtualization, layer in a fiber channel storage area network. Architecture The IBM 2145 SAN Volume Controller is an inline virtualization or gateway device. It logically sits between hosts and storage arrays, presenting itself to hosts as the storage provider and presenting itself to storage arrays as one big host. SVC is physically attached to any available port in one or several SAN fabrics. The virtualization approach allows for non-disruptive replacements of any part in the storage infrastructure, including the SVC devices themselves. It also aims at simplifying compatibility requirements in strongly heterogeneous server and storage landscapes. All advanced functions are therefore implemented in the virtualization layer, which allows switching storage array vendors without impact. Finally, spreading an SVC installation across two or more sites enables basic disaster protection paired with continuous availability. SVC nodes are always clustered with a minimum of two and a maximum of eight nodes, and linear scalability. Each I.O. group consists of two nodes. Each node is a one new high rack mounted appliance leveraging IBM System X server hardware, protected by redundant power supplies and an integrated one new high uninterruptible power supply. Note that the DH8 model is a two new high unit, with integrated battery backup. An integrated two-row display and five-button keyboard offer standalone configuration and monitoring options. Each node has four fiber channel ports and two or four 10 slash one bit S Ethernet ports used for FCOE, iced C and management. All fiber channel and FCOE ports on the SVC are both targets and initiators, and are also utilized for inter-cluster communication. This includes maintaining read-write cache integrity sharing status information, and forwarding reads and writes. Write cache is protected by mirroring within a pair of SVC nodes, called I.O. group. Virtualized resources are distributed across I.O. groups to improve performance. Volumes can also be moved non-disruptively between I.O. groups, for example, when new node pairs are added or older technology is removed. Node pairs are always active, meaning both members accept simultaneous writes for each volume. In addition, all other cluster nodes accept and forward read and write requests which are internally handled by the appropriate I.O. group. Path or board failures are compensated by non-disruptive failover within each I.O. group. This requires multi-path drivers such as IBM subsystem device driver or standard MPIO drivers. SVC is based on commodity part storage system architecture, developed at the IBM All Maiden Research Center. The majority of the software has been developed at the IBM Hersley Labs in the UK. Terminology, Node, a single 1U or 2U machine. IO Group, a pair of nodes that duplicate each other's write commands. Cluster, a group of 1 to 4 IO groups managed as a single entity. Stretched Cluster, a site protection configuration with 1 to 4 IO groups, each stretched across two sites, plus a witness site, cluster IP address a single IP address of a cluster that provides administrative interfaces via, service IP address, an IP address used to service an individual node. Each node can have a service IP configured. Configuration node, a single node that holds the cluster's configuration and has the assigned cluster IP address. Master console, a management GUI for SVC until RHEL 5.1, based on WebSphere application server. Not installed on any SVC node, but on a separate machinase of SVC RHEL 6.1, a master console is no longer used. Web-based administration is done directly on the configuration node, using a HTML5 GUI. Virtual disk, a unit of storage presented to the host. The release 6 GUI refers to a VDISK as a volume. Managed disk, a unit of storage from a real, external disk array virtualized by the SVC. An MDISK is the base to create an image mode VDISK. Managed disk group, a group of one or more MDISKs. 
The extents of the MDISKS in an MDISK group are the base to create a striped or sequential mode VDISK. The release 6GUI refers to a managed disk group as a pool. Extent, a discrete unit of storage. An MDISK is divided into extents. A VDISK is formed from set of extents. Performance Release 4.3 of the SVC held the Storage Performance Council world record for SPC1 performance benchmarks, returning nearly 275k IPS. There was no faster storage subsystem benchmarked by the SPC at that time. The SPC2 benchmark also returned a world leading measurement of over 7 GB per second throughput. Release 5.1 achieved new records with a 4-node and 6-node cluster benchmark with DS8700 as backed storage device. SBC broke its own record of 274,997.58 SPC1 IOPS in March 2010, with 315,043.59 for the 4-node cluster and 380,489.30 with the 6-node cluster records that stood until October 2011. Release 6.2 of the SPC held the Storage Performance Council world record for SPC1 performance benchmarks, returning over 500k IOPS using 8 SPC nodes and stores V7000 as the back-end disk. There was no faster storage subsystem benchmarked by the SPC at that time. The full results and executive summaries can be reviewed at the SPC website referenced above. Release 7X provides multiple enhancements including support for additional CPUs, cache and adapters. The streamlined cache operates at 100 microsecond fall through latency and 60 a microsecond cache hit latency, enabling SPC as a front-end to IBM flash system solid-state storage without significant performance penalty. See also, Flash System V840. Included features, indirectional mapping from virtual LUN to physical LUN, servers access SVC as if it were a storage controller. The SCSI LUNs they see represent virtual disks allocated in SVC from a pool of storage made up from one or more managed disks. A managed disk is simply a storage LUN provided by one of the storage controllers that SVC is virtualizing. The virtual capacity can be larger than the managed physical capacity, with a current maximum of 32 PB, depending on management granularity, data migration and pooling, SVC can move volumes from one capacity pool to another whilst maintaining I.O. access to the data. Write and read caching remain active. Pools can be shrunk or expanded by removing or adding hardware capacity, while maintaining I.O. access to the data. Both features can be used for seamless hardware migration. Migration from an old SVC model to the most recent model is also seamless and implies no copying of data. Importing and exporting existing LUNs via image mode. Image mode is a non-virtualized pass-through representation of an MDISK that contains existing client data. Such an MDISK can be seamlessly imported into or removed from an SVC cluster. Fast write cache, writes from hosts are acknowledged once they have been committed into the SVC mirrored cache, but prior to being destitched to the underlying storage controllers. Data is protected by replication to the peer node in an I.O. group. Cache size is dependent on the SVC hardware model and installed options. Fast write cache is especially useful to increase performance in mid-range storage configurations. Auto tiering. SVC automatically selects the best storage hardware for each chunk of data, according to its access patterns. Cache unfriendly hot data is dynamically moved to solid state drives SSD, whereas cache friendly hot, and any cold data is moved to economic spinning disks. Easy tier also monitors spindle only workloads. Solid state drive capability. SVC can use any supported external SSD storage device or provide its own internal SSD slots, up to 32 per cluster. Easy tiering is automatically active when mixing different media in hybrid capacity pools. Then provisioning, LUN capacity is only used when new data is written to a LUN. Data blocks equal zero are not physically allocated, unless previous data unequal zero exists. 
during import or during internal migrations, data blocks equal zero are discarded. Besides, then provisioning is integrated in the flash copy features detailed below to provide space efficient snapshots. Virtual disk mirroring provides the ability to maintain two redundant copies of an LUN implicitly on different storage controllers, site protection with stretched cluster, a geographically distributed, highly available clustered storage setup leveraging the virtual disk mirroring feature across data centers within 300 km distance. Stretched clusters can span two, three or four data centers. Cluster consistency is ensured by a majority voting set. From two storage devices in two data centers, SVC presents one common logical instance. All application-oriented operations, like snapshots or resizing, are applied on the logical instance. Hardware-oriented operations like real-time compression or live migration are applied at the physical instance level. Unlike in classical mirroring, logical LUNs are readable and writable on both sides at the same time, removing the need for failover, role switch, or site switch. A feature can be combined with live partition mobility of motion to avoid any data transport during a metro distance virtual server motion. All SVC cluster nodes also have read write access to storage hardware in the mirror location, removing the need for site resynchronization in case of a simple node failure. Enhanced stretched cluster, a functionality optimizing data paths within a metro or geo distance stretched cluster. Helpful when bandwidth between sites is scarce and cross-site traffic must be minimized. SVC will attempt to use the shortest path for reads and writes. For instance, cache write destaging to storage devices is always performed by the most nearby cache copy, unless its peer cache copy is down. Stretched cluster with golden copy, a stretched cluster that maintains an additional synchronous or asynchronous data copy on an independent stretched cluster or SVC or storage device at geo distances. The golden copy is a disaster protection against metro scale outages impacting the stretched cluster as a whole. It leverages the optional metro or global mirror functionality. Equals optional features equals, there are some optional features, separately licensed for example per TB. Real-time compression, this technology, invented by the acquired startup StoreEyes, has been integrated in the SVC and other IBM storage systems. Originally implemented as real-time file compression, it has since been enhanced to also provide in-flight block compression. The efficiency is equal to zip LZW with a very large dictionary. The temporal locality of the algorithm may also increase the read-write performance on adequate data patterns such as uncompressed databases stored on spinning disks. Real-time compression can be combined with easy tiering, thin provisioning and virtual disk mirroring. Flash copy, this is used to create a disk snapshot for backup, or application testing of a single volume. Snapshots require only the delta capacity unless created with full provisioned target volumes. Flash copy comes in three flavors, snapshot, clone, backup volume. All are based on optimized copy on write technology, and may or may not remain linked to their source volume. One source volume can have up to 256 simultaneous targets. Targets can be made incremental, and cascaded tree-like dependency structures can be constructed. Targets can be reapplied to their source or any other appropriate volume also of different size. Copy on write is based on a bitmap with a configurable grain size, as opposed to a journal. Metro Mirror, synchronous remote replication, this allows a remote disaster recovery site at a distance of up to about 300 km. Global Mirror, asynchronous remote replication, this allows a remote disaster recovery site at a distance of thousands of kilometers. Each global mirror relationship can be configured for high latency slash low bandwidth or for high latency slash high bandwidth connectivity, the latter allowing a consistent recovery point objective appear below one second. Global mirror over IP, remote replication over the Internet, uses SanSlide technology integrated into the SVC firmware to send mirroring data traffic across a TCP IP link, while maximizing the bandwidth efficiency of that link. This may result in a 100x data transfer acceleration over long distances. 
other products running SVC code, on October 7, 2010, IBM announced the IBM Storeys 57000. This uses the SAN volume controller code base with internal storage to provide a mid-level storage subsystem. Since then, IBM has released the V5000, V3700 and V3500, China only. The V7000 was significantly enhanced on May 6, 2014, by the V7000 Gen 2. Together, these make up the IBM Storeys family. The Actifio protection and availability storage appliance includes some elements of SVC code to achieve wide interoperability. The PAS platform spans backup, disaster recovery, and business continuity among other functions. See also, IBM Subsystem Device Driver, a multipathing driver for IBM System Storage, originally used by IBM Enterprise Storage Server, NITAP V-Series, Inc. VPLEX, a competing solution, IBM Storewise Family. Footnotes. References. External links, links to SVC Redbooks, Info, Updates, Official IBM Storage Virtualization Page. Official IBM Red Books page for SVC, Official IBM Red Books page for Storeys V7000.